we have a way of picking up habits and rolling with them um, or just you know trying to copy someone who has a certain habit and especially both actually good and bad ones and also there's some habits and just traits that um, Someone can't really tell like when they started having it. They just find themselves with them and some of them might be good, others might not. And among the habits that I want to look at today that might not be, I don't know, so good um, and also that if you're not very careful might land you problems, many problems that I'll be looking at, is holding. Now, hoarding in the simplest of language is that tabia, is that a habit of just wanting to collect things, wanting to collect stuff, wanting to hold on to stuff, some of which you even have no use for, or some of which the, the use has run out. Yes, yes, I know this one rings a bell to you, if you know what I mean. We have people who are just always wanting to collect stuff. Like, you will come across... Um, a, a, a lady who actually just came across a beautiful um, track suit for a little baby and they just went like, oh my goodness, if you actually look around, they don't have a baby in their house, probably their kids are so grown or so on, but they just keep, you're wondering, why are you keeping this cloth, why don't you give to someone who might make use of it, no, 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 you never know, my, my sister might visit with a baby and she might need it, or you know, or I might, I'm thinking of who to give or I'm holding on to you, but when you really look at the item, they really don't need it. If you're not very careful, you might be struggling with holding. Or you know, sometimes you, you actually, and especially when, when, when some of these things are free, you know, you realize, this, okay, so why did you pick this thing? It was free. It was probably on offer or it was free, so I just picked it. So how is it going to help your life? I don't know, I just picked it. It's called holding. Yes. So, <clears throat> Hoarding, after all this definition of mine, really, is a persistent difficulty in discarding or parting with, with some possessions uh, where someone has collected these blah blahs, they either want more or they don't want to let it go even when their use is expired. It's called hoarding. Now, uh, it's apparently a disorder, a very serious disorder that might need you to do something by it before one. It leads, you, it leads you into running out of space because holders are always holding on things they don't want, they don't really need, or, 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 or just getting things they don't necessarily need or at least don't need at that time. So before you know it, one of the repercussions of holding as a disorder is you will soon run out of space. Before you know it, your dining table is full of junk, is full of stuff, your bedroom is full of stuff, back under the bed, you know you have things and so on, and you're wondering, why does this lady actually have three extra mattresses that have no bed? You know, no, you know someone might come, and, and some of them are even old. Apparently, I have just learned that there, there are people who still have kept their children's high school material, High school books, high school boxes, you know, in the sanduku, in the, uh, the metallic sanduku, we have some parents who are still keeping those things, they're still keeping their books, they're still keeping the mattresses, my goodness, the mattresses some people are using in high school were like this thick. Kidogo kabisa kama ulimi wa ngombe yani. They still are keeping such, the mattresses are, are, are even just chipping off on themselves on their own. They're still keeping such and when you ask, so how is this going to help your life? No, it's just, it's just, it was for my daughter when she was in high school or my son, so I'm just still keeping it. For what? You can keep better things for memory purposes, really, if you want to keep memories of your son when they were in high school and so on and not such things. And you see, some of these things wear out. They wear off, like the mattresses, like the clothes. So before you know it, every time you're cleaning your house, you know, you just get fluffs. From the old mattresses you know from the old stuff and so on and you're thinking why can't you just let go of such things you actually have a condition called holding so yes you risk running out of space in your house when you have a holding disability uh, another another repercussion or another, another danger of you being um, or suffering really from a holding disorder is you actually are also risking your safety Depending with what you're holding, depending with what you're holding on and or what you keep acquiring, some of these items actually might stand in, might compromise your safety. You know, 
you, you come across someone who you're thinking, my goodness, why do you have 50 knives? And you keep buying new ones and more. Why don't you let go of some of these old ones? And so on. No, 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 no. This one reminds me when I was two years old in marriage. Now you are 45 years old in marriage. You're still holding on such things. Some of them have become loose. Their nuts have become loose. It will even cut you when you're trying to use it and so on. You know, and again, be, even just beside it, taking a lot of space in your kitchen drawers or in your house, in your bedroom and so on. You might actually like even sleep on some of them and, you know, miss a step and you know fall down lose your tooth you know in the course of you trying to clean and so on in the course of you trying to make a way to pass because things are just full everywhere and so on because you are a hoarder so yes you actually um risk running out of space in your in your house you you, you risk just uh, you know falling over things stumbling over things and so on because things are everywhere you know you look at even some photos you're thinking why 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 is a 1982 calendar still on your wall? Or why did you actually pull your 1982 calendar on the wall and stored it in your bookshelf? My goodness, what is that even, you know, going to help? How is that going to add value to your life? You actually have a holding disability. You have a holding disorder. When you're always giving things that are not adding any value to you or you can't even explain why and so on. Yes, it's called holding. Now, uh, some, of, some of the hoarders you might know or you might actually fall under, you know, one of these categories are things like we have actually shopper holding, where here are cloning shoppers, you know, we are, we are always like trying to, 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 to buy things, even some of which you don't want, because it was on promotion, because it was on offer, you know, because they said buy two, get one free, because so you just, you end up being actually a shopper hoarder. You're thinking, but you only just needed one one sieve of tea. Why did you end up? Why do you actually have ten sieves and you make tea once a day? You know, and so on. No, because you know they were saying if you buy five sieves, are those the strainers? Kichungia chai. Because they said if you buy four, you'll get two more. So I just bought. Then I, yeah, yeah, shopper orders. And uh, then food hoarding. We have people who just just hoard food. You and you've seen this even in events. You, you look at someone dressed very well in a, in a sharp suit if it's a guy or in a lovely dress if it's a woman and you look at the plate they're carrying or the, the, yeah, the food they're carrying to go sit down eat and you're thinking is that a plate for food or is that another tray for us to go serve from? You know the food is so full and you're thinking you, you only have one stomach that can only take so much at a time. So yes, we also have food orders. Or whenever they go to a place, you know, they're, they're, they're eating, but they're also thinking about, I need to take some with me. I need to take some with me. And most of the time, actually, they don't care about whether or not the other person will have found, will have gotten something to eat. It's about them, them, them. So there goes another, another repercussion, another side effect of, of being a hoarder or suffering from a hoarding disability is you actually become selfish unconsciously. You unknowingly actually become selfish. It, it all becomes about you it's just it's all about you you know i don't care if the rest of the people will actually get the juice as long as i get enough juice and i even have some to take away with me then that's it people who you keep thinking my goodness like garbage is to be trashed garbage is to be let go so that the garbage company or the you know can collect and so on why do you keep all these things you if you've come across people who have like a million containers of milk in the house a million containers of, of juice a million bottles of soda, you know, you're thinking, why do you, why do you keep these containers? Are you starting a plastic container company or something like that? No, I just kept them. But when, when did you last use them? I don't even remember. Yeah, you actually hold trash, you hold garbage. You, you actually have a holding disability. And then animal holding as well. We have people who, we, we have people who love animals, you know, who love pets and so on. Then we have those who are just too much and it's like they hold. You know, they want to have this animal, they want to have, when you ask, but then what value is this bringing? Nothing. And, and another side effect now of such a person, of such a hoarder, an animal hoarder, is you realize now they will not be able to give these animals proper attention, you know, proper care, and so on. So, hoarding, or hoarding just comes with a lot of disadvantages to it, and that's why you might want to watch out. 
if you have such a habit, if people around you are commenting that probably you're a hoarder, or if you just realize that there's so much stuff around you, and some of which that you really don't need, or some of which you last used or accessed like long time ago, years ago, and so on, you might be suffering from a holding disability or a holding disorder. Maybe you might want to seek medical attention because apparently a stage of it actually calls for one to, to look for help. And uh, like they say, you might want to see a doctor um, if, for example, your health or safety is in danger. You know, whatever you are collecting, whatever is surrounding you is actually threatening your safety and health, you might want to see a doctor. You know, like we say, why are you holding uh, a million types of matchsticks? You know why, why? Why are you? Why are you holding? Why are you holding some some containers of medicine? You know that that you already consumed the medicine out, but you still have those containers and so on. That's how you will actually confuse the containers. That's how you will be wondering whether the expiry dates are correct. That you know. So such like small things, if you really don't need them or if they're not going to add value to your life, they are going to take away some of it. So yes, if you realize that whatever you are holding is actually putting your safety and health in danger, you might want to see a doctor. Uh, if you have materials in your home that actually pose a fire risk, yes, a fire risk, you know, why do you have five gas cylinders? Um, you know, because every other time you can only one use one, at most two, really, like come up on a meko and you have the other gas cylinder for your home. Why do you have like seven gas cylinders in your house? You know, and so on. Why, why do you have... Um, why do you have, uh, you know, so much like paper? You know, we have people who collect things like newspapers and so on. You don't have to have a whole room filled with newspapers and papers and junk and so on. That could also be a fire risk. So such like things might, might actually trigger you to want to look for, for attention from a professional. Uh, when you often actually trip or fall over materials in your house, it could also be a sign that you, might, you, need, you need help. Like I said earlier on, because yeah, they end up actually holding, ends up eating into your space. And lastly, when you feel anxious about your possessions, you know, you have so much stuff around you until you're feeling anxious about them. Probably this hip might fall on me, or probably I might be attacked, I, I might be, you know, I might be, I, I might be mugged. You know, you're feeling anxious about the possessions you have. What, what you have should add joy. What you have should, should add joy to your life. When what you have is bringing anxiety, making you anxious, then they are not, they're not good. And you might want to check whether or not you are suffering from a holding disorder. So yes, I thought I needed to mention that. Uh, I, I know a few of my friends who have uh, friends and maybe a few family members, I don't know. But I know quite a number of guys who struggle with holding. And uh, it, it concerns me because even through my reading, like when I was reading about some of these things, it was really making sense. It was really making sense. Holders actually are not very, like, are not the happiest people. You're so busy trying to think of what else to acquire, what else to get, what else to add to what you have. You actually forget to enjoy what you have. And that's how you can end up also being a very sad person as a result of holding. So yeah. This is very important. I hope it helps someone somewhere to just know that sometimes uh, little is, is enough. And sometimes just too much is not equivalent to, 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 to you being happy or to you being content. So yeah, thank you for your time. I'll see you in my next episode. And in the meantime, hit the subscribe button if you're my first uh, timer. Uh, if you're my, 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 if you are first time on my channel, and for you who is a returning subscriber, Asante Sana, thank you for your support. Thank you for for just um, you know watching, commenting, liking, and so on. This is how we keep spreading this good news, this gospel about some of these abilities we actually may not know about, or we may and we just don't know.